Hi folks, I'm Joe Wellmore. Welcome to this week's Journeys on Tennessee Crossroads. Here's where we're going. In our first story, Al Vex discovers how a Tennessee man honors the unique talents of his father. Bob Wiles meets a White House barber who's a definite cut above the rest. And I'll be in Nashville where an artisan practices a rare form of ancient egg art. Chances are a few people in this state would recognize the name Earl O. Henry as that of a famous Tennessean, but the survivors of Mr. Henry are working to change that. You see, they're preserving the artistic contributions of this former East Tennessee dentist. This is Lieutenant Commander Earl O. Henry. The naval officer was killed when a Japanese submarine sank the USS Indianapolis July 30th, 1945. That torpedo brought to an end the life of not only one of Tennessee's noted dentists, but also to one of the state's gifted nature artists. You see, Dr. Earl Henry's love for birds was second only to that of the love for his wife and family. Dr. Earl Henry became known as the painter of birds. Even though it's been 50 years since Earl perished in the Pacific, he and his artwork, his portraits of birds, are not forgotten. Making sure this legacy will never be allowed to gather dust are Jane Henry and son Earl Jr., who are both now making it very easy for this artwork to be enjoyed by nearly everyone. Of course, I'm very proud of my father, what he, uh, uh, he did, and in some ways this work is, is how I know my father. When he was 12 years old, his grandmother saved the little bird card that was our, in each package of Arm & Hammer soda and I would give them to him. He would go out after school and try to find a bird that looked like the card. And that's really what started it. He just sat down and painted them. It was as simple as that. This was a, a gift. And he, he was thinking how beautiful the birds are. Well, I think the simplicity is that he painted birds the way he saw them. Uh, they're not they're dramatized. Uh, they're in their natural environment. And, you know, they look like uh, the birds that you and I would go out and see. One time, we, uh, one woman who came to see them said, oh, he paints birds the way I see them, which was what he wanted to do, of course. As easy as all of this was for Dr. Earl Henry, he never pursued it as a commercial venture. He painted birds for my mother and father and my sister, uh, for his aunts and uncles, and, uh, but he never had any thought of doing anything commercial with them. He didn't want to sell them, and uh, he really didn't have time to paint any more than he did. And as far as having prints made, he didn't think about that. And now you're making these prints available for other people. That's right. We have had nine different birds' paintings made into prints. Even though the nation was in the midst of a world war, Earl Henry still managed to utilize every spare minute in pursuit of his birds. And while on board the USS Indianapolis, he came up with his most dramatic work. He uh, joined the uh, USS Indianapolis uh, at Saipan on uh, July 25, 1944. The painting stated August 44. So what we know is that at least within the first five weeks he was on the ship that he painted that. And what what I you know think is that you know he uh, pictured uh, with a bird that he you know loved that he pictured the uh, drew the emotions that. Uh, he and other men on the ship and other Americans in the Pacific would have, sh uh, you know, shared at that time. Earl Henry not only captured the beauty of the nation's birds on canvas, he also taught himself taxidermy, which allowed him another avenue to pursue his love. There, there are 90 different, uh, uh, different species uh, of birds in the collection. Now, there is one bird in this display that may ring a bell with a lot of people. If you've ever been handed a brown paper bag and a flashlight and invited to go on a snipe hunt, 
be advised. This is what you were looking for, because this is a common snipe. The majority of them, even though some of them Tennesseans might not recognize, there aren't very many birds in the collection that wouldn't be seen at some part of Tennessee at some, at some part of the year. Dr. Earl Henry was a dentist in Knoxville prior to entering the Navy for war duty. It is only fitting, then, that these items should be returned to Knoxville, where they will be on display for all to enjoy. We're donating them to the Iams Nature Center, and because my father was from Knoxville, and uh, the majority of the birds are from Knoxville, even though some of them are from uh, West Tennessee when my father was uh, in school in Memphis, uh, we've always thought that was where they should be, and now the, the, right, uh, the right place uh, is there for us to donate them to. So uh, we're rather joyous that this has occurred, uh, the right place to put them. That's what we're trying to do to keep, keep the legacy alive. That is very thrilling to me and uh, a long time dream. And even though there aren't a lot of people now who knew Earl, they will, a lot of people know about him and uh, can enjoy his work. So it's a great pleasure to us.